This is good. This is very good. Welcome to Late Night with Carl Joshua and Nube. The basic idea, obviously we've heard that Trevor Noah has made it big with The Daily Show. Yeah. Pretty awesome. So you replaced Jon Stewart after 30 years. 30 years of doing The Daily Show. So I'm hoping that in about 30 or so years, I'll also replace Trevor Noah <laughs> on The Daily Show. And being Zimbabwean, being Zimbabwean, I'm the only kind of person who can wait 30 years for something good to happen, right? <laughs> Like Fly Africa, we're kind of making it a bit compromising for air airlines to be in Zimbabwe. Uh, the reason why Zimbabwe is safe from terrorist attacks is because one of the founding principles in terms of terror attacks is that you need to attack airlines that have a regular flight schedule. And, um, and so Air Zimbabwe has been holding it down and keeping it safe for all of us. And, and Fly Africa being in the picture really would have affected uh, the, the safety of, of, of Zimbabwe. Like how long on average would they take to make a movie like Wally? Five years and there are over 200 people. Working it's your in the, one person and they expect you to do it in two minutes. Imagine like, so you're telling me like 200 people get involved in an animation they make something that's really great, right? Yeah. And, and yet ZANU PF has more than 200 people but they like... <laughs> <laughs> Like, even, even the jungle on the top of the building is not even moving. It doesn't, do anything. It doesn't even have electricity on it. I mean, like, at night, we're like, jungle and would be too. And uh, moving on to Dr. Mai. So she's gone on her uh, another set of uh, Meet the People uh, rallies, uh, which is just leaving us with the whole question, which vice president is about to go? <laughs> <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking. She said like she's not getting rid of any of the vice presidents, but do you guys remember this? <laughs> Same time last year, we thought Maim Juru was actually going to be in, in power, but then uh, she wasn't, and um, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, weird. So people, people around the world have been thinking, how did Grace Mugabe get this powerful? And internationally, the only way that I can explain it is uh, by tuning into Scandal. Um, so that I can explain, because people, because people around the world can't relate to how Grace Mugabe got this popular. So I'm going to put it in terms that you that you remember. So Olivia Pope used to work in the president's office, and uh, and and at some point in the president's uh, office, she really caught the eye of the president at that particular uh, time. Uh, but the first lady at that point uh, was on her way out, and when the first lady left. This was the opportunity for Olivia Pope to actually get into the presidential office. Now, assembling her team of gladiators, the G40, she then went and uh, started, dismantling, started dismantling some of the chief lieutenants of, of the president one at a time, even removing the sitting vice president at the time uh, from her post and installing another vice president in her place. And uh, this is how she, in season seven, will end up becoming the new president of the Republic. Public, uh, of Zimbabwe. <laughs> Nube. Nube is like a, uh, they say it's a Ndebele surname, but it's not really, because I'll just explain where we come from. So, so I'm a Nube, so I'm not really in Ndebele, um, because my grandfather was South African. Uh, he was a thief in South Africa and ran away to Zimbabwe. <laughs> and changed his name to, to Nube. He just saw a whole bunch of people there and he changed his name to Nube. So I'm really on a quest to find out where my relatives came from, which is why I always travel to South Africa because I'm trying to connect to the people from Kumbulekaya just to <laughs> reconnect with my, my roots. No, listen, I could be a Mandela. <laughs> a Zuma, a Malema. You don't know. I could be any one of these really great uh, South African surnames. So you you're, you go to church, right? And then in church they say, uh, don't engage in stuff before you get married. But if you get right. married, you can't use condoms because, well, you, that's a sin. Yeah. So what is the anointed condoms doing? But I think the anointed condoms are as, as WTF as some of the sermons that we saw online, right? Ooh. And the prophets would say, we'll cure you from, from your alcohol addiction. And then they've got a full bar waiting <laughs> to test that the anointing has happened. Like, my wife has often said, like, what if you had a sexual addiction? Would they have dildos backstage? Like, how, how do they test this? So it's like, uh, all right, no, 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 you no, 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 don't put that on your wife. You were the one who said it. Yeah, I, I said it. I said it too. I said that. But don't understand, we have an excellent opportunity as Zimbabweans because we've never, we've never been in a point where a president has been this old and has been in power this long. 
This is great. We could be shattering records left, right, and center. You guys don't even understand how great it is. Like Vladimir Putin is walking around showing himself using machine guns, going onto tankers, riding horses, scuba diving, like Barack Obama playing basketball. Like for us, when we watch our prisoners, yes, he's walking. <laughs> he's still walking. Oops, that was oh, okay. He's walking. So the first lady has been talking about the head of state and government and commander-in-chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, President Robert Mugabe, uh, saying that he will rule from a special wheelchair. Now, I know a lot of people don't understand what we're talking about, but the wheelchair in question is Professor Xavier's uh, wheelchair from X-Men. And uh, if, if most of you aren't really thinking about what's going on, uh, people are thinking it's just going to be the wheelchair, but 10 years from then, from the wheelchair incident, he's also going to rule the country from an Iron Man suit. <laughs> Which uh, actually just goes to prove that Marvel is in fact running this country and the CIO are being converted to being the agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And, uh, so most of you don't really think that the situation in Zimbabwe that's happening is the same as the series that we're actually being binge watching in Zimbabwe. But the president is going to also rule the country in another hundred years from a cryogenic uh, frozen chamber uh, for another uh, 50 years. And then his brain will be removed from said body and attached to a live host to to rule for another 150 years. At this point, we're going to extract the president's DNA in the same way that they did in Jurassic Park, and the president will now rule the country uh, in the form of a T-Rex uh, for the next uh, billion years. So, uh, so clearly, Zimbabwe is in very safe hands um, at the moment. I'm still alive. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we are not. We are not. At the end show, we performed the before police. Like Muchango, it was yeah. actually very nice to like take down. Yeah. Like I did, I did, I did the joke about Mem Jure and the plane, and he was the one who used to get it. That he exactly. didn't sit down the plane. Did you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, was, that was so cool. Because I remember the one old joke I used to tell about Mem Mem Juru and how she took down the how she took down that that, that helicopter. Yeah. And I was imagining what Mem Juru was like, like you know, with her head back. It's like it was so no way. So no way. And she and she sits and she spreads her legs and whatever. And she puts the magazine. It's like. Kak, 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 It's so nice, it's yeah. liberating to make fun of my Juru because she's. I mean, we only hope right now that politicians keep getting thrown out of ZANU PF because then it, it, it. More jokes for us. More jokes for us. Yeah. This is. Yeah. Rami, thank, Rami, give a round of applause to ZANU PF for yeah. giving us. Yeah. Giving us opportunity. Yeah. I've been reading the, the, the budget that uh, uh, Honorable Chinamasa read the, the, the other day, and as I had reached like page 19, I still hadn't started talking about the money. I was wondering what was going on. It was like still greeting people, still <laughs> greeting the, the members of the house, uh, still talking about what happened at the last day, barbecue. And uh, it, it led me to think like, what, what happened to the money? Where is the money? And there's so many people, it's like a new game show that I want to start. Like I want to also ask Peter and Tofu, like, where is the money? Other people want to ask, Munya Chizonga, where is the money? Wendell, where is the money? Happy Zon Muchachatere, where is the money? I want to know, Kat Bedube, where is the money? I, I've got all this pent up aggression in me, and I want to know because even the ministers, as they were showing up to the budget uh, hearing, it was actually quite weird because we have no money in the country, but all of our ministers were showing up like they were in some kind of rap video. Look at, look at the cars they were coming out of. Like, the guys were showing up like they were at the BET Awards or something. Like, look at the fancy cars that they were coming in, like Parinato coming in a Benz, uh, Chombo coming in a Benz, Mnangagwa coming out in a in a Benz, um, Pofu coming out in a, okay, I don't know how, but coming out of in a Benz. <laughs> except, 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 yeah. except Chino Timba. Except Chino Timba, who saw a Benz on his way to Parliament. Uh, he, if it wasn't for Robert Mugabe, most of us wouldn't even know how to speak English. Because Robert Mugabe identified the one thing, the one thing in the 80s, and that was Voltron. Because every single ZANU PF speech was based on Voltron. You guys don't understand, like every speech from ZANU PF is written according to Voltron. From days of long ago. <laughs> from the uncharted regions of the universe comes a legend. The legend of Voltron. Defender of the universe. A mighty robot. Loved by good.
feared by evil. As the Voltron's legend grew, peace settled across the galaxy. On planet Earth, a galaxy alliance was formed. Together with the good people of the solar system, they maintained peace throughout the universe until a new horrible menace threatened the galaxy. Western machinations. Voltron was needed once more. This is why, like, if you guys don't even understand, like, this Voltron was a ZANU-PF idea. Because it only became evident in the government of national unity because Voltron is made up using five lions. Government of national unity, ZANU-PF, MDC, 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 and MDC. So they went out trying to fight the Western machinations. Normally the French embassy. And they'll be like, let's form Voltron, form feet and legs. Psh, psh, psh. Form arms and torso. Psh, psh. And I'll form the head of state and government and commander in chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, President Robert Gabriel Mugabe. <laughs> so that's it for our news, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. I think that was... Uh...